Why, hello there everyone, and welcome back to the Waifu Games. Now, if anyone that's new to the Waifu Games doesn't know what this thing is, let Papa Thomas go ahead and explain everything to you, alright? So go ahead and sit down, get comfy, and listen to my explanation of the Waifu Games. The Waifu game is a um, customizable Hunger Games thing that you can go ahead and upload images to, you know. It's all real cool and stuff. I'm not like the owner or anything, I just play it, you know. I'm not like Syndicate, okay? I'm legitimately not the owner. I am just some plebe that found this site. Not so cool. Anyway, so yeah, we go ahead and upload these images as characters is what they mean for. But you can make them Hunger Games characters, you can make them characters from shows, it doesn't matter. No one will know. Because it's just your thing. Unless you, like, show someone your, like, URL for that, which is down there in, like, your history. There's actually a URL for each of yours. Yeah. Anyways, so you upload all these images, make them to the Hunger Games. Now, mine is the Waifu Games, and, yeah, we got some pretty fun stuff here. Now, I bet you guys want to know who these characters are, right? Let me go ahead and introduce you to them. The characters on each district has a theme, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you the theme, then the characters. District 1 is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. With Jonathan Joestar, Dio Brando, Joseph Joestar, and Speedwagon. I've never watched Joseph Bizarre Adventure. My friend Aaron begged me to put them in here. District 2 is Undertale with Sans, Undyne, Metaton, and Kara. District 3 is Elfin Lead, which is, has Lucy, Nana, Mariko, and Kurama. If you haven't watched Elfin Lead, stop watching the video and go watch it. Actually, don't. Uh, finish the video, then go watch it. That'd be better. And suggest a team in the comments below. That'd also be good. And District 4, we have in real life. So, you know, we got me right there and Aaron. Japanese Ronald McDonald because, you know, he's a person. Why not? And Saikyo. And then, yeah, Saikyo's a friend. Another friend of mine. If you didn't know that. District 5 is the user suggested team. So, last time was Smash Bros. I was supposed to change it for this team for this time, but um, I didn't get any good suggestions. Sorry. Sorry for, you, sorry for you, Dragonheart. That's just something. I didn't like it. I didn't want a team of Dragonhearts. But don't worry, man. That doesn't mean I like you any less. You're still cool in my book. Anyway, so we have District 5 is Smash Bros. This user digestive one, which has Captain Falcon, Ganondorf, Cloud, and Donkey Kong. District 6, we have Silent Hill, which has Harry Mason, James Sunderland, Pyramid Head, and Heather Mason. District 7 is an anime called Rakutai Kishino Calvary, which is a great anime, go watch it. Has um, Stella Vermillion, Kurogane Iki, Kurogane Shizuku, and Toto Toka. District 8 is Fire Emblem Fates, which is the Norian side, which has Camilla, Arthur, Valoria, and Soleil. I just have their Japanese names there because I wanted to, really. And then District 9 is High School DXD. Which has Akino, Rios, Konako, and Zenobia. District 10, we have Meg Man, which has Mega Man, Mega Man X, Zero, and Base. District 11 is Higurashi and Nanako Kuroni, or it's also known as like when the city cave is crying, but that's a dumb name. I just like, I call, I'll call it Higurashi. Yeah, that's a better name. Anyway, so we have Reina, Ryugu, Shion Sonozaki, Riku, Rika, Furude, and Keiji Minabata. And then District 12, the final district, we have Hyper Dimension Neptunia with Neptune, Iris Heart, Noir, and Blonde. Now these districts are about to fight each other, and one of these people in this district is going to remain victorious. Who will that be? How will anyone die? How will they die? Let's go ahead and find out, why don't we? Alright, as the tributes stand on the podiums, the horn sounds. Dio overpowers combustible lemon, killing him. Sorry, Mega Man fans, you lost. Konako Shine grabs a shovel. Rasoi's nightmare snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Shion and Kurama fight daughter and Camilla. Shion and Kurama survive. Sorry, but those guys are dead too. Yeah, so anyway, it's never they say that someone dies, they die, and they're gone for the rest of the game. But the, after the game ends, I can simulate again, they'll be back. So, anyways, let's go ahead and go forward. Akino Sama runs away. Shizuku grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Rios and Sans fight for a bag, and Rios gives up in retreat. Don't worry, Rios is still alive. Randanru runs away, so does Heather. Speedwagon takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Blonde runs away, so does Zenobia and Undyne. You know, our Dong grabs a backpack, but he doesn't realize that it's empty. 
Nana grabs a jar of fish and bait while, fi while fish gets fishing gear. Fish, why are you gonna kill yourself? Why, no, you murderer. Jojo says, yes, I'm fire with a Molotov. Captain Falcon's getting some true disrespect. The first time he was here, he died on the first day as well, killing himself. Lady Noir, Chocolate Lover, and Wife were together to get as many supplies as possible. Salt finds a bag full of explosives. Iris Heart runs away, and so does Oh My God and Iki. Zero snatches a pair of size. I find a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Nice. Mr. Speck takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Neptune runs away. So does X and Keichi. Nipa sets an explosive off, killing Justice, Stella, Mariko, and Toka. Don't underestimate the lolly. This is what happens if you underestimate the lolly. Pierce Mineral runs away. Oh yes, runs away. Air takes the cornucopia for resources. Neo grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. Rena grabs a shovel. James Nightmare snatches a pair of sighs. And Anime Hunter grabs a shovel. Zero and Speedwagon hunt for the tributes. Jojo steals from Rios while she isn't looking. Shion falls into her frozen lake and drowns. Good job, Shion, you're dead. Wife injures himself like the masochist he is. Anime Hunter steals from X while he isn't looking. Akinasama just questions her sanity. You really should, mate. Dong steals from Sans while he isn't looking. Konoko-chan diverts a deal's attention and runs away. Kinda run from the deal, mate. Blonde steals from Neo while she isn't looking. Blonde, no, that's bad. Fish dies from an infection. It's what you get for trying to kill fish. They bite you and infect you, mate. Iris Heart attacks Iki, but he manages to escape. Our pure cinnamon roll soleil searches for a water source. Zenobia chases Heather. Oh my god, searches for firewood. Oh yes, he's a masochist. She's a goose travels to higher ground. James Nightmare receives medical supplies. Disrespect, Nana, Rena, and me hunt for the tributes. Dude, I am with the dream team right now. Kuruma picks flowers. Keiichi and Lady Noir split up for resources. Net picks flowers. Aaron camouflages himself. Nipa finds a hatchet. No, she's gonna throw that at somebody. That's gonna hurt, mate. And then Rasulu's Nightmare, Undying, Salt, Chocolate Lover, and Ran Ran Ru hunt for the tributes. Oh boy. Ten cannon shots can be heard at the distance. The people that died are Combustible Lemon, Daughter, Camilla, Yes! Justice, Stella, Mariko, Toka, Shion, and Fish. Those are the people that died in the in the first day. Let's see who dies in the second day. Dong kills Keiichi as he tries to run. Kuruma spills Nipa on the abdomen. Well, Nipa did her best as a lolly. She just didn't last long. Zero tends to his wounds. James Nightmare thinks about home. Heather, Ran Ran Ru, and Chocolate Lover sleep in shifts. Lady Noir bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Our Pierce Simonor climbs a tree to rest. Jojo questions his sanity. Speedwagon quietly hums. Dio tries to treat his infection. New fins with Soldier's Nightmare X and Iggy away from her fire. I guess she just sobbed and just kind of pulled out her vectors and just kind of slapped her face like said, No! Bad! No! Hello, human! Hey, no one gets that reference, because I'm bad. Anyways, oh my god, thinks about home. Aaron tries to treat his infection. Oh yes, questions his sanity. Sans, Rios, Nep, and me tell each other ghost warriors to lighten the mood. Dude, nice. Undyne is awoken by nightmares of fish being cooked. Nana, Renan, Akna, Simon, Chili sing songs together like friends. Anime Hunter tries treating his infection. She's going to Konoko chan and talk about the tribute still alive. Salt and Blonde do the same thing. How shall let's wipe into a shelter? A Sylvia let's disrespect into her shelter. I'm tired, sorry. Wife protects Konoko chan but he manages to escape. Disrespect begs for Chocolate to kill him. P reluctantly obliges, killing disrespect. Oh, he meant to do it. He loved it. Jojo sees smoke rising in the distance, but does not investigate. Rios sprays her echo while running away from Dong. Don't worry, Rios is still alive. Rasulia's nightmare tries to spear a fish with a trident. Aaron overhears me and Rena talking in the distance. What am I talking about with her? Keiichi? Eh, I don't know. Oh, yes. Constructs a shack. Nana gets fresh food. Sans discovers a river. Speedwagon discovers a river. Dude, water. Dude, water. That's an inside joke between me and Aaron. If you saw two episodes ago, the 51 minute episode where me and Aaron wouldn't shut up, I mean, it's a lot of inside jokes. <laughs> like, well, whenever we found anything related to water in the slightest, we'd go, dude, water. New dies from an infection. Sadly, my wife who dies. 
Akinosama makes a slingshot. Oh my god, stalks Nep. Iki and Kunuma work together to drown Dio. I know I'm a weeaboo. You can even you can go down in the comments and say I'm a weeaboo. I already know. I've known for years. Actually, only like a year and a half. I've been a weeaboo for a year and a half. Dear Lord. On Dino over here is James Nightmare, an anime hunter talking in the distance. Our pure summon all is pricked by Donald's picking berries. Snowy practice her archery. X begs for Sauce to kill him, but he refuses. He's like, no, it's not fun. Our shark attacks Ran Ran Nu, but he manages to escape. Zero sees smoke rising in the distance, but he does not investigate. She's a good dies from an infection, and Blonde cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. Alright, but those guys have died. Keiichi, Nipa, Lady Noir, Disrespect, Niu, Dio, Shizuku, and Blonde have perished. Yeah, there's actual death images for them as well, so whenever they die, they have different images. So yes, oh my god, wife and Akino Sama discuss the game as well, and what might happen in the morning. Oh yes, yeah, sets up camp for the night. Our pure sim and roll gets a hatch out for unknown sponsor. Jojo is unable to start a fire. And he sleeps without warmth. X questions his sanity. Speedwagon thinks about winning. Arasar fends Salt, Zero, and Rios away from her his fire. Sans forces Rasul's Nightmare to kill Rana Nu or me. She decides to kill me. You know what, Rasul's Nightmare? I thought we were tight. I thought when we, me and you killed Rasul and really destroyed him, made him so solid. I thought he might be cool, but then if you had to go ahead and pick a Japanese clown over me, I see you. I see you right now. I see you very nice. That mean. Aaron tends to anime Hunter's wounds. Chocolate Lover sees a fire but stays hidden. Rana and Adai tell each other the stories about themselves with each other. Hush, you know. You want to go ahead and find some cool crap? Not tired. I can't give good commentary. I'm sorry, everybody. This might be your first episode of Battle of the Death. This is not a good first episode. I'll tell you that right now. It ain't. Why are you guys watching this? It's bad. It's bad. Anyways, Heather and James Nightmare track down and kill Nana. Well, sorry, Nana, you got wrecked. Konoko Chan fans Nep. Dong and Snowy away from her fire. Kuruma climbs a tree to rest and Iki thinks about home. Hmm. Sans collects tree from a, fruit from a tree. How did Sans even climb that? Did he teleport up there? Dude, nice. Chocolate Lover thinks search for a water source. Iki saw, oh my god, Snowy would perform a suicide pact, kill it themselves. KMS. Speedwagon and Anime Hunter and Iris Heart start fighting, but Anime Hunter runs away as Speedwagon kills Iris Heart. Of anime hunter are you mate and it's not being an anime hunter i'll tell you that right now aaron and oh yes we're together for the day heather constructs a shack zero picks flowers akinosama injures herself undyne jojo and kurama hunt for the tributes yeah you were fighting we're fighting iris heart and speed wagon Alright, Undyne, Jojo, and Kuruma have further tributes. Dong fishes. Wife, X, Rasul, Nightmare, and Nep, and Ran Ran Ru have further tributes. <laughs> yeah, fuck that shit, dude. Rios goes hunting. James Nightmare is forced to the arena. Renan makes a slingshot. Konoka Chan gathers fruit from a tree. And our pure Simino tries to spearfish with a trident. You can get three at the same time if you get a good shot. I'm mad. Me, Nana, Iki, Salt, oh my god, Zenovia, and Iris Art have perished. So Zero Kimes cries himself to sleep. Wouldn't he put out the fire in his sword though, mate? Rena, Rena and Undyne run into each other and, and decide to choose for the night. Speedwagon destroys Rios' the supplies while she's asleep. Heather cooks her food before putting a fire out. Ran Ran Ru and Dong huddle for warmth. Ryan proceeds fresh food from an unknown sponsor. James Nightmare begs for Jojo to kill him, but he refuses. Akinosama receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Sans passes out from exhaustion. Kodoko Chan attempts to climb a tree, but falls on death, killing them both. Nice job. Aaron receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Chocolate Lover and Ran Rasui's Nightmare, not Ran Ran Nu. Big Baka. Tell each other stories about themselves to each other. Kuruma, oh yes, ex anime hunter and Pierce and all sleep in shifts. So, oh yes, diverts Kuruma's attention and runs away. Ran Ran runs away from Heather. Rasui's Nightmare search for a water source. X forces Jojo to kill Rios or Dong. He decides to kill Rios. 
Gotta keep the dong alive. Long live the dong. Chucky Love search for a water source. Speed Wagon tends to undine his wounds. Sands, anime hunter, wife, and James Nimer raid Anna Aaron's camp while he's hunting. Get that, you fucking plead. Our pure Simon Nolan and Ran and Ranadu work together for the day. Akina Sama hush for the tributes, and Zero makes a slingshot. Chronica Chad, Nep, and Rios have died. Heather tries to treat her infection. Speedwagon, Dong, and Sans discuss the games that they might happen in the morning. James Nightmare and Oculus are almost sleeping shifts. Run, 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 dry, die is trying to escape the arena. Aaron is awoken by nightmares. Zero starts a fire. X sets up camp for the night. Jojo and Anime Hunter talk about the tribute still alive. Pure Seminal ambushes Rena and kills her. Chocolate Lover and Kuruma sleep in shifts. Wife looks at the night sky. Rusula's Nightmare tries to sing herself to sleep. Oh, yes, receives clean water from an unknown sponsor, and Undyne is awoken by nightmares. Heather, Dung, oh yes, and Pierce and Mineral hunt for their tributes. Sans hunts for their tributes. Wife searches for firewood. Kuruma receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Undyne falls into a frozen lake and drowns while I yawn like a freaking bitch! Ugh, stop being tired, self. I could, like, drown myself in water. Freaking make myself wake up. Speed wagon is picked by thorns while picking berries. Chocolate Lover sprains his ankle while running away from Zero. Jojo chases Rusui's nightmare. I mean, dude, he, he ran towards the thickness. The thickness is so irresistible. The thickness. And James Nightmare goes hunting. If you guys want to know what my inside joke about Rusui's nightmare and who Rusui is, well, look up Rusui Plays. I think he's actually on related channels on my YouTube account. Just go ahead and click his name and go to... Viewer battle number 23 he did. That was me. And it was so fun. X camouflaged himself in the bushes. Akino Sama shoots an arrow into Aaron's head. And anime hunter fishes. I just like talking to Psycho. It's always kind of fun to see his um reaction. Zero flails his weapon around accidentally killing X. That's kind of funny. Anyways, Heather finds and kills Jojo who is making way too much noise. Speedwagon finds and kills James Nightmare who is making too much noise. Pure Seminole accidentally makes contact with spiny lethal plant life. Anyways, if you guys don't know, this is an arena event. These sometimes happen. Sometimes they don't happen. Whatever happened is random, so this time we got the arena church pitch black and nobody can see a thing. Sorry about not saying that, I'm stupid. Kuruma has Kuruma survives. Sans trips on a trips on a rock and falls off a cliff. Rusua's nightmare survives. Akinosama survives. Chocolate lover survives. Wife survives. Enemy hunter survives. Dong flails his weapon around AKA's fist, accidentally killing O and accidentally killing OES. So ten can shots can be heard in the distance. Ran Ran Ru, Rena, Undyne, Aaron, X, Jojo, James's Nightmare, our pure Seminole, Sans, and OES have died. Slap in the thigh. Anyways, wife begs for Speedwagon to kill him, but he does not concede. Heather Zero was with Nightmare and Dong tell each other the ghost words to lighten the mood. I'm pretty sure that was wrong. Chucky Lover sets up camp for the night. Tell me if that's wrong or not in the comments below. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Akino Sama, Kuruma, and Anime Hunter sleep in sh and sleep with the fish. So now the feast is happening. This happens every single Hunger Games, and now it is happening. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs of the families of the tributes families. Heather doesn't go. Neither does Zero. Or so is Nightmare, Kuruma, or Akino Sama. Wife, Anime Hunter, Chocolate Lover, and Speedwagon team up to grab food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. And Dong bleeds out to in untre untreated injuries. Did you play your fist around too much and punch yourself in the face last night? Dang it, man. Akinosama collects fruit from a tree. Anime Hunter attacks Zero, but he escapes. Chocolate Lover kills Wife as he tries running. Rusua's Nightmare falls into frozen, fro frozen, fro fro frozen lake and drowns. Rusua's Speedwagon runs away from Kunama and Heather explores the arena. Three cannons can be heard in the distance. Dong, wife, and Ursula's nightmare. It's hard for people that wanted that to happen, them to win, but they don't win. So, Heather screams for help. Speedwagon, enemy hunter, fight Chocolate Lover and Zero. Speedwagon, enemy hunter, survives. 
Kuruma quietly hums and Akino commits suicide. So, Speedwagon overhears Heather and Ame Hunter talking in the distance and Kuruma fishes. All these people have won except for Speedwagon. Speedwagon! Chocolate Lover, Zio, and Akino have died. Alright, Kuruma sees a fireplace stays hidden. Speedwagon convinces Heather to snuggle with him. And Ame Hunter passes out from exhaustion. Anime Hunter throws a knife in Speedwagon's chest. Dang it, now we have all veterans. Well, veterans that have won. Kuruma questions his sanity, and Heather gets clean water from an sponsor. Speedwagon has died. Anime Hunter and Kuruma run into each other and tie the tooth for the night. Heather cries herself to sleep. Kuruma searches for firewood. Anime Hunter severely injures Heather and leaves her to die. Got two left. Who's gonna win? Is it Anime Hunter or Kuruma? Let's find out. Anime Hunter falls into a pit and dies. And because of this happening, we already know who wins. Kuruma is the winner from District 3, Elfin Lead. That tells you that Elfin Lead's awesome. Now everyone, right now, look at me. Do you see me looking at you? What I want you to do is go down into the comments. A little level reason to it. Go down into the comments and suggest a team that I should do next. Suggest only one team, because I'm only doing one team change. I might change teams up there on my own, but that's only for my own. And, if you guys like this series, like if you guys like this series and want to see more, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and like the video too if you want to, you know. It'll make my day better and I'll get a little bit more fame on YouTube. I don't care about fame on YouTube, it's just a little extra, you know. Anyways, this has been me, DJ Verity, signing off. I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye. Now go watch Elf and Lead and Rocket Location no Coward if you haven't. Have a good day.